Hi, my name is Zoe Bichtman. Today I'm going to be reading Jumping Jack by Julia Donaldson, illustrated by Colin Meyer. Jumping Jack. Mom was out. My big brother, Brad, was watching TV. I was playing a computer game called Jumping Jack. In the game, Jumping Jack was looking for his dog. He was jumping around everywhere. He jumped from hill to hill, then he jumped from reef to reef, but he couldn't find his dog. Today, Jumping Jack got to another level. He jumped over volcanoes and dinosaurs, but he still could not find his dog. See, there's him fighting volcanoes. And Jumping Jack went to the next level. He saw his dog, but the dog was locked up in a house. Jack saw a rusty old key. He put it into his the lock, but it's, it didn't fit. Jack, Jumping Jack was angry. He jumped up and down and all over the screen. Suddenly, he jumped right out of the screen and onto my desk. He knocked over the box of discs. Hey, I shouted, but Jumping Jack paid no attention. He jumped off the desk, down to the floor, and out of the room. See, Jumping Jack just jumped right out of the screen. Crazy. He followed, I followed him into the kitchen. Jumping Jack was up on the table. He knocked over a jar of jelly. Stop, I shouted. But Jumping Jack had already jumped up into the cupboard. He was jumping about in there, messing everything up. He spilled the coffee. He knocked over some cans. Look at the mess he's making. He put the bottle into his sack. What's that? I asked, Jump, but Jumping Jack paid no attention. He jumped back onto the table and down to the floor. Then he jumped out of the kitchen, up the stairs. I followed him into the bathroom. See, she's chasing him all the way up the stairs. Jumping Jack jumped into the sink and out again. I tried to grab him, but he jumped into the medicine cabinet. He spilled mom's shampoo. He knocked over my brother's shaving cream. Then he put the bottle into his sack. Hey, what are you doing? I shouted, but Jumping Jack was off again. He jumped back down the stairs and into the workroom. He knocked over the toolbox. He spilled some paint, and then he grabbed a can and put it into his sack. Stop that, I shouted, but Jumping Jack was off again. I followed him back to the computer, and he jumped onto the desk and back into the screen. Just then I heard a car drive up. Mom was back. See? There he goes, right back into the screen. What's all this, she asked when she saw the mess in, in the kitchen. Jumping Jack did, I said. Oh no, she said when she saw the mess in the bathroom. It was Jumping Jack, I said. Look at her mom examining the messes all over the room. What a mess. Look at this mess, she mom, shouted mom when she looked into the workroom. Jumping Jack made the mess, not me, I said. Just then brother, my brother called out, Mom, Tess, look at this. He had stopped watching TV and was now watching Jumping Jack on the computer. Jumping Jack had just taken something out of his sack. It was a bottle. Hey, said Mom, that's my cooking oil. Jumping Jack poured some oil in, in the lock and tried the rusty key. Didn't turn. There they are, all watching Jumping Jack. He took another bottle out of his sack. That's my bath oil, said Mom. Jumping Jack tried the bath oil, but the key still didn't turn. Jumping Jack looked in his sack again. That's the tool oil, said, Bla said Brad. Jumping Jack poured a drop of the tool oil on the lock. He tried the key again. 
This time it turned the lock. Jumping Jack opened the door of, of the old house. His dog ran out and jumped into Jack's arms. Then Jumping Jack turned around and he looked very happy. He had a big smile on his face. He waved to us. Thank you for the oil, said Jumping Jack. Well, thank you for reading for Ronald McDonald House, and I hope you like the book, and please um, continue to read because there's so many great books out there. Thanks for watching.